Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Hey y'all, APG Jamie here. And today brings us hashtag fourth art Saturday. Your color palette, that's our inspiration. And because it is the Halloweenisms, Halloweenisms <laughs> season, I thought we would do uh, that kind of color palette. <laughs> We're going old school, making painty papers, and I have cardstock because y'all know I like the cardstock. And just regular various brands of oh heat gun y'all, uh, craft paint. Um, I think I have a list of the generic or basic colors in the description below the video. Um, yeah, as well as possible links because it's an open collab. And there might be other players. Just saying. So that there is clear gesso. Okay. And uh, I will use, I go between clear gesso and white gesso. I don't necessarily think I used fluid matte medium. I don't remember. See, it's been about a week since I filmed this. And then we had some electrical issues at our home. So it's kind of been a day. So he can, y'all. So we put on a base coat of purple. We just smeared it on there, you know, with a plastic card. And uh, we went over it with the clear gesso. It's all nice and dry. And now we're going to use a stencil and I'm going to lay it out so that I can, it's not necessarily a repeating pattern, but I'm going to make it a repeating pattern. It'd be just fine, y'all. It's painty papers. I, I don't currently have a plan for what we're going to do with them. You know, that kind of thing. So we're pouring out some gray and we've got a cosmetic sponge, you know, uh, makeup wedge whatever you want to call it spongy thing and we're just going to smoosh that on the stencil and the video is uh mostly in hyperspeed i do believe i think we make a total of four although one of them's a leftovers smooshy kind of paper we'll get to all that so um yeah, smooshing that on. Got to get out some more gray. Baby wipes will be involved. Uh, I think my baby wipes are kind of, they're not really wet. They're mostly just damp. But that's okay. You can make them wetter or drier. Oh, yeah, that's easy fit. You want to use a towel instead of a, a baby wipe? Okay, you can do that. Like I said, it is old school. And uh, sometimes, sometimes art is about the process. Well, it's all, it's seldom, it's really seldom about the outcome. I mean, we all want a beautiful, magnificent outcome. But, you know, it's more about the process of getting there. That's the fun part. Well, the end part's fun. It's all fun. It's all fun. So here I am just smooshing out the rest of that gray on that uh, now going to be our uh, pickup drop paper kind of thing. So we're just smooshing out the paint, using up the paint. I mean, why not? I mean, you yeah. know, what else are you going to do with it? Wipe it off and throw it away? Hmm. Not this penny pincher. Quarter penny pincher. So this is a, a darker purple, because these are purples. They may be kind of blue, but they're purples. And we're just smooshing that around on top of the uh, dry stenciled stuff. Because it's dry, y'all. It needs dry between your layers, okay? Okay, just smooshing around. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just, we have no plan for what we're going to do with this cardstock, so... It, it don't no matter. Now I got this big one. And the stencils are listed below. I think only one of them is a, uh, a mandala stencil just from Amazon. So it's unbranded. This one is a crafter's workshop. I'm just saying because that's the package it came out of. So now we are doing stencil reduction. That's where you go in and you remove paint. 
using a baby wipe or whatever other thing you're going to use to remove the paint, okay? And you want to kind of keep swishing your baby wipe around so that you're removing paint, not necessarily just re-smearing it. Does that make sense? Of course it makes sense. And we're just smooshing that all around. Got to use a little elbow grease. And the day I did this, it was kind of dry. So everything was drying really quickish, y'all. It happens. So we set that one aside because it was kind of done for now. And now we've got this here um, golden orangey color. I don't know what color it is, y'all. Golden orangey color. That's what we're going to call it. That's our scrap paper or drop paper. Heat gun, y'all. It'll be heat gun in this. Off and on. And again, we just smooshed it out with, with the card. Uh, we're not looking for perfect coverage here. In fact, uh, well, if you're, you know, if, you're, if you like the distressed look, perfect coverage is not your friend. Just saying. She might be your friend. That is the white gesso. Okay? You could tell because it's, more white than the clear gesso was. Clear gesso is kind of cloudy. It doesn't dry perfectly clear, but it definitely mats everything down, making it not shiny. That's what I'm trying to say. Heat gun for a second. And now this is a dark blue. It may even be called navy. And uh, we're just smooshing that around with the card. I'm just goofing around. I'm thinking, well, you know, at the time I was thinking, at the time I was thinking, guess I always think when I'm doing painty papers is if it comes out, I'll show you. If it doesn't come out, I'll probably show you anyway. Because <laughs> I'm that kind of girl. Uh, one of the tips, a tip, here's a tip. Hey, gun, y'all. Uh, you want to keep your lines uh, perpendicular like that. Side to side top to bottom, not on a diagonal, unless you do other layers on a diagonal, because the diagonal on top of other lines that are going top to bottom and side to side, it tends to confuse the eye in it, and it makes like a chaos kind of thought, thinking, synapses snapping in your brain. Heat gun, y'all. Now we got some uh, teal, and we're just going to smoosh that all over everything. And I'm going I'm to tell you right now, I wish I had scanned these before I go on to the next step. But y'all know me and my issues about scanning before I continue. I mean, you know, they didn't end up bad. But they didn't scan worth the darn. I don't even think I show you the scanned images. Maybe I do. I don't know. Probably do. <laughs> show you anything. Anyway. So we're smooshing it around, cleaning our brush. Mm, excuse me. So this is a um, I stencils stencil. I am an affiliate of them. Uh -uh, just saying. So, again, stencil reduction. Because I like it. And we move it all around. That's looking cool, y'all. It looks so cool in real life. And this is the one I really, 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 really wish I'd scanned. Because it, it looked so cool at that stage. Should have left that one alone. Do you know how it goes? You either stop too soon or you go too far. Every once in a while you get it just right. Goldilocks syndrome. Ha! <laughs> So here is that uh, mandala stencil from Amazon, unbranded. I've had it a long time. Um, yeah. So this is an orangey paint. Oh, it's probably the same color we started with. Yellowy, goldy, orange, probably. And we're just going to haphazardly smoosh it through using a uh, makeup sponge again. And we wiggle it around because our paper is 8.5 by 11. But most stencils, most of the ones I have anyway, are 8 by 10. Some are 12 by 12. And some are not even that big. Some are 5 by 7. But, you know, 
who's measuring. Not me. Ain't no ruler boss of me. Even when I use a ruler, it's not the boss of me. <laughs> y'all know y'all know how that is, right? Okay, so smooshing it all around, pretty happy with that. And you know, some of these, you know, if you love it, you need to stop. If you're not so sure about, it, just keep going. I mean, it's just paint, old paint. Drying up in the bottles. That's an azalea color. I remember that one's called azalea. So, and it is the color of our azaleas down here. Well, I don't have any personally, but a couple of neighbors have them. They pretty. Mm -hmm. The azalea trail. Mm -hmm. uh, same stencil. And no, it's not uh, being lined up. It's all just... Every which way. And I'm not necessarily trying to cover up all the white, even though I think we do end up covering up all the right. Oh, and it's not the same yellow orange. That other one was a yellery, yellery. That's a real word, y'all. I'm telling you, it's a real word. This one is more of an orangey heat gun, y'all. Okay. And is this clear gesso? Yes, this is the clear gesso. Now, the purpose of the gesso is it sort of seals up the paint underneath it, which makes it easier to remove the paint on top once it's dry. Now, this is a rust color, and I've squirted some water in there because it's kind of thick, and I just didn't want it that thick. So, and, and you could say I'm kind of, kind of working in color family. It's kind of, but not really. So we're just smooshing that all around. And that, like I said, it, it, it dry pretty quick. You know. Didn't need no too much heat gun. Notice I'm putting fingerprints on there. It don't no matter. All right. Now, I'm squitching it with water because it's so dry. All right. And we're going back to that original stencil. Which I think is a Joan Smithy stencil from Eye Stencils. Just saying. Love her. She's listed under uh, the artist Patty Tolly Parish. So we get great effects from the spritzed water. It makes those little water droplets on there, which you'll see more butter probably in a minute. And I am doing some uh, with the baby wipe the stencil reduction again. Only we've got the added benefit of droplets. Okay. Okay. Look how cool that is. Y'all, this looks so cool. So I thought, well, I'll spritz on some more. So we did some more. And I'm not worried about lining up or trying to line up the stencil at all on this one. The first one we did, we lined it up so that we kind of had a continuous pattern of sorts. This one, it's not. And in, in fact, I think I just get to where I just start smooching it around in different places. Yes. Just, just sort of like that. And sometimes you got to put a muscle on it. Now, if you don't have, um, some of the card stocks don't do as well with stencil reduction work because you rub it so much and it wants to peel up. That's why it's so important to be sure to dry between your layers. Okay? Okay. Because otherwise you could just Rub a hole right, right, right through your card stop. So, now we're going to do some stamping work. And this is where I wished I'd have scanned them first. Because somebody thought, well, they're in, the, they're in the embossing powder this month, okay? So, we're going to emboss this. Heat emboss this. So, that's embossing, stampabilities embossing ink. Because that's kind of it. And that is an IOD stamp. It's huge, isn't it? It's like, I, I think it's actually bigger than 12 by 12. It might be 12 and a half by 12 and a half or 13 or 14. I don't know. And we're going to put some gold on it. So, now mind you, when you go with these bigger things like this, <laughs> get the embossing powder in places you didn't necessarily want it to be, but that's okay. Well, it's okay with me, you yeah. know. To each their own. You don't have to do big old giant pieces like me. No, you don't. Do got to be careful. <laughs> that powder goes everywhere. So that's a, uh, a big piece of paper back there. He can now the magic. The magic of embossing powder as it melts. Oh, so cool. 
IOD, IOD, Iron Orchard Designs. They make huge stamps because they're basically for uh, furniture, that kind of stuff, okay? Oh, we got one of their stores, a little local store in O-Town Spring, okay? Mm -hmm. I can't remember the name of it. It's not an IOD store, but I call it the IOD store. And I picked up, I think I picked this one up when I was with Tanya in Florida. We found it at a, at a boutique. Anyway, love it because it makes such distressed looking stuff, y'all. Did not scan worth a darn. But, you know, that's kind of, kind of what happens when you have shiny stuff. And a scanner. They don't, they're not necessarily friendly. But look at that. I will get a better look later. So now we're moving on to the second one. This is the one I wish, after the fact, that I'd left alone. Because it was so cool looking to begin with. And I think I actually kind of scooted my stamp a little bit. And made it just, it, so it comes out blurry. Which is actually kind of cool. I mean, you know, it's not necessarily bad. And I decided to go with white. Because that's what I felt. Other than that's what I felt, I, I wouldn't know why I went with white. Because your natural, your natural assumption would be black would have been a good color. But no, I went with white because that's what I went with. Okay. That powder is just everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Trying to tap it around, tap it around, trying to save what I can save. And at some point, I, I end up brushing off my tabletop and putting it all in my party mix jar. You know, the what, what was left, yeah, on the tabletop. Hickon! Embossing magic. They look cool, though. I'm pretty happy with them. But I do still wish I'd have left this one alone. Because that whole depth of those different colors going on in there just really get lost behind the uh, white embossing powder. But it's a cool effect. Something else to think about when you're using embossing powders. If you go to fold your papers, the embossing powder is pretty much going to crack. It's almost almost a guarantee, y'all. Because it's, it's a plastic, all right? It's a plastic, and you melt it onto your surface. Now, here's our rusty one. And it, it was perfect the way it was, too. But, no, I just want to keep going a step further. So, here we go. Smooshing it around. Trying to get even pressure and felt like I didn't necessarily have enough of the embossing ink there, which is a clear ink. And uh, this one we're going copper because it's rusty looking. Look at that, y'all. How cool. And it's, it's a hyperspeed. I mean, it looks like I'm tapping super fast. And I was typing, per, uh, tapping, typing. I don't type really fast. I just type medium. Anyway. <laughs> Here we go. Tapping that around. Trying not to get too much off my paper. Getting it here. Getting it there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tapping the back. Magical heat gun. Oh, so cool. It's way cooler in real life. Just saying. The magical heat gun and the embossing powder. Just saying. Just saying a lot. Okay. Like I said, I am not, there's no project. This is the project. The painty paper, your color palette, that is this month's Fourth Art Saturday inspiration. Okay. And uh, speaking of that, in my community tab coming up in probably November, December, I will be asking community type questions that I would appreciate you to answer if you should happen to visit my community page um, on here on the YouTubes. That might be fluid matte medium. That looks like fluid matte medium. See how it's kind of smooth, creamy? That's fluid matte medium. We're going to put some Tim Holtz tissue paper on there. I got a roll and it's owed. So it's the 12 inch length one. Or 13 inch. It actually looks, it's probably 12. We're just going to cover that whole thing up. Okay. I did not emboss that one at all. 
we're just going to put this over it because the background was just so chaotic. I thought we might do better just by putting this here tissue wrap paper on there, and that's what we did. I didn't scan this one at all. But there will be a photo montage. You'll see. Once it gets nice and dry, I trim it all up. Here we are. It's the flip-flop part. Is this the flip part? I think so. I think it is. Oh, there it is. See, it's blurry. But it's cool looking still. You can't decide. Is it blurry or is your eyes being weird? Is your eyes being weird? Because, you know, I speak good English around these parts. That one, oh, man. They look better in real life than what they're coming off on the screen. So if you think they're amazing on the screen, they are magnificent in real life. Ah! Just saying, ta da! Photo montage. Hey, oh, y'all. I do like making the painty papers, and it has been a long time since I did any like this. I call them backgrounds, they may never get used. Or they might. <laughs> just, I just don't never know. I put them in a pile. Well, actually, they go in a, in a, a pile in a box. Because, yeah, I need to use them. So cool. Mm -hmm. Trying to show you the shimmery. And I guess I didn't put the uh, scanned images on here. Mm -hmm. oh, sweet. Painty papers. Anyway, I hope you can join in on 4th Art Saturday. And remember, we appreciate each and every one of you. Your kind comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions. Thanks for watching, and happy arting, y'all!